Okay. <clears throat> so what's our goals here? I had a new idea, a new story thread. That man over there was looking pretty damn serious. This is unfortunate. away <clears throat> sending a lot of enemies after me this time around huh my light back Okay. Think it's your your story, Crowbar Jim? Society of mystic outsiders with hidden knowledge. Typical New York. Wake. 
Fuck off. Should have used the health pack. I forgot I was so low. Uh, how far back did I quick save? Yeah, take this. Okay, so the live stream is started, and we are good to go. God damn it! What the fuck is going on with the fucking chair? Okay, one sec. Yeah, there we go. Come on. Wake. You're stuck in a Yes, I am. Absolutely right. But it ain't your story. He's legit. Okay. Shit, I don't even remember what I'm doing, where I'm at. I see somebody's coming for me, though. We've got... I'm gonna take off this wrist thing. We've got a, a word near me, to the left and to the right. Okay. Could have sworn I got that one though. Oh, well, probably didn't save because you died. That makes sense. Um, I feel like I'm missing something vital here. We good, right? Sure, I guess we'll use it on that.
I don't see what use that has, but. Anyhow, I think. Yeah, I got no idea. <coughs> Fuck off. Shadow people can't open doors. <laughs> Got you now. Gonna say hell no. Hell no. I ain't going like that. Jump now! <sighs> Ain't jump scaring me. Turns out, turns out the cultists weren't the only ones using the tunnels. Hidden graffiti signs mark secret routes. I kept hearing whispers around burn barrels of an underground society of mystic outsiders with hidden knowledge. Typical New York. Fuck you. I don't get time for you. No, uh, we'll quick save. I'm pretty pumped because I see. A word of power right there. Get in that fucking doorway before the shadow army comes. Oh, I see. Shadow Army wasn't there. Okay, well, what the fuck? Never mind. Okay, so that was the door that brought me back... Back to the first tunnel. Fuck yeah, there we go. Wish you could take that duct tape and do something with it, but... It is what it is. Hmm. Just in case I die, we'll quick save so I don't have to do that again. <clears throat> Guess we might as well kick it to the right. This new plot beat would carry me deeper into the story. That's kind of what I figured. Go summoning ritual. Ok. 
Okay. I don't know about that. Oh shit. Ah shit, I, pro I progressed everything. I didn't mean to progress everything. Fuck! Man, run faster than that! Holy shit, terrifying. I couldn't hear the dark presence. It was gone. I guess. Destroyed a lot of stuff in its wake, it looked like. Or nothing. nothing. Oh, for fuck's sakes! Am I glitching out with this flashlight? Like, what's happening here? It's definitely glitching, I can't see shit. dark presence I had seen it before mm -hmm. I remembered now it was always out there hunting me Writer of the first word, not the writer of the last, with the terror of the light and the shadow last. Third eye now open to protect, project the night. This is the moment of the two right. This is the ritual to lead you on. Your friends will meet him when you are gone. Progress, but I'm in danger. The dark presence. Help me. Please help me. I could sense it. I was closer to home. Had the woman in the vision helped me somehow? Something had changed outside. Parliament Tower, where I had lived with Alice. It was out there, waiting for me. writing who? Who was writing this poem? Me? No. Tom?
The fuck, uh, Alex Casey found his way down here? Stepping to the murder site, I felt it hanging in the air. A meaning, the violent emotion of the act. Like a cloud of wrath, the dead eyes of the victim staring at something you couldn't see, and yet making you aware of it. Something had soaked into this place on a molecular level, overlapping with your meaningless existence. A regression to something you had managed to forget, marking you, taking you for a ride, making you crazier. Station had changed. I'm closer now. Uh, nothing changed that benefits me, so I will be taking this light to go. Thank you very much. Parliament Tower. Our home in New York. Was I really this close to being home? Going up to our apartment? Would I be home? Or was this just an echo of the real thing? Even then, the murder site had brought me one step closer to escape. Time loses meaning here. How long have I been trying to escape? Long enough for Alice to think I'm dead. The pavement at the edge of the plaza was ringing again. About the murder site? Yeah, I, I did. I, I. That's fantastic, Alan. We're closer to getting out. We're making progress. Well, we would be if you would answer my damn questions. Last time we spoke, you were pretty worried about Alice. Did you ever check Parliament Tower to make sure she really got out of the dark place? Well, of course she got out. That's why I'm here. That's the whole goddamn point. Be very careful, Alan. The dark presence is stealing from you. It already manifests as your double. Scramble. Wait, wait, hello? Hmm. So, trying to figure out are we talking to. Was that Tom Zane the poet or was that Tom Zane the filmmaker? They are two different people. Writer, writer, maybe who's a 
victim. He was a victim. Writer. Writer. A writer. Uh, maybe he was a victim. The cult using his words. Or maybe he was the monster behind it all. Either way, Alice Wake, his ex, she knew things. It was there in her art for all to see. A cry for help. The darkness she'd witnessed. And that put her in danger. Was Alice here? In the story? Hmm. I was gonna say, what's that on the ground? Alan! Alice! What was that? Like a ray of warm light, I felt her presence. It gave me strength to go on. Okay, this is new. <gasps> you jump scared me more with the flash and on the fucking things than with the uh, Mr. Scratch. Alice's photo equipment. Set to go off when the door opens. Get out! Leave me alone! Alice! Alice! This is the door to my study, where I wrote my books. This symbol wasn't here before. This is a photo of Scratch. How did Alice get this? Is he stalking her? Alice's video camera. No memory card inside. Alice's memory card. of him 
one I didn't like. I set up a trip to see a doctor in Washington. I didn't tell him until we got there. We argued. Things went wrong. Penny was just gone. Drowned, allegedly. It's easy for people to think it was my fault. Hell, I do, too, sometimes. About six years ago, I started hearing noises in the night. Typewriter keys clacking. Voices. Alan was back. Haunting me. Then it got violent. It was Alan. And yet, it was a monster. He always did have anger in him. I set up cameras around the apartment with motion sensors and flashes. Now, when the monster comes, I turn it into art. My nightmares caught on film. And this is the focus of my new exhibition. To show people the world is so much darker than they ever knew. I'm calling this exhibit the dark place. Alice. Scratch was terrorizing her. Why? He said he would. <clears throat> I sat in the writer's room and wrote a story. Initiation. To project myself through the dark place. To look for a way out. The story had brought me here, brought me nowhere. Looked me back. I was writing this story. And in the story, I now stepped into the writer's room. But there was no one here writing. Let's recap what you've told us so far, Ellen. For the past 13 years, you've been in a nightmare dimension called the Dark Place. Yeah. It's like New York, but it's not New York. And can be reached from the bottom of Cauldron Lake, but it's not really under the lake. 
And after all this time, you've managed to get out. Yeah, yeah. But so has your evil doppelganger. Mr. Scratch? Or is it the Dark Presence? Both. It's interchangeable. He's Scratch when he looks like me, but he can change into this other form. And Scratch, the Dark Presence, wants to rewrite the world in his own image. Which would be in your image, as he looks just like you. And turn the world into a fucking nightmare. During Deerfest, which is scheduled to take place in a couple of days. You got out of the dark place by writing a novel, the pages we've been finding. But your double edited it into a horror story that's now changing reality, taking over people, yeah. making them crazy, bringing the dark place to Bright Falls. Yes. Fiction coming in contact with the dark place can change reality. The story is coming true, soaking into everything, like... like... Like darkness when it when night falls. But last time it This will be back in 2010. Yes, last time it didn't happen all at once. The story came true bit by bit as it unfolded. And that dark presence was still bound to the lake. I stopped it before it got the ending it wanted. Before it broke free. Based on that, there's still time. Which brings us to your magical light switch. The clicker. Magical doesn't quite cover it. Scratch wants it to bring about his ending. That, that can't happen. If I can get the clicker, I, I can send him back to the dark place, make all the shit go away. I... Look, I know it's batshit crazy. My memory is, is full of holes and I... I'm not sure how much I can trust. It's like it's like it's like a half forgotten dream. God, I can go for a hot cocoa myself. <clears throat> Mr. Wake. Alan. We've seen our share of batshit crazy in the past 24 hours. What I want to know is, why am I? Why are we written into the story? I think I saw you. Or a vision of you in the dark place. I think you helped me reach out and escape somehow. With that in the story, Scratch would have edited it to get to you. To hurt you. We are all in danger. It's insane. And there's so much of it. Have you ever heard of the cult of the tree? Creepy bunch in the habit of wearing deer masks, performing murder rituals, victims turning into monsters possessed by darkness, possibly inspired by a horror story written by a certain author. Hmm? Ring any bells? A cult. Yes. Yes. They have the clicker. If the cult has the clicker, does that make them scratch his followers? How are you so certain they even have the clicker? They could be working for Scratch. I, I don't remember. It's all confused. Alan, if I'm going to act on this information, you need to be honest with me. Yeah, of course. Is he confused? Or is he hiding something? Okay, now with our new game plus mode, can we drill him? And be like, I don't fucking trust you, you fucking son of a bitch. Wake has a double. Mr. Scratch. Where is he now? A cloud of wrath wears my face. The dark place in your place. Scratching out my body of work. Scratch is here. In Washington. He's hunting Wake. Scratch looks just like Wake. Don't wake up the dreamer if your life is a dream. 
I swam to the shore, but the water is rising. Wake and Scratch are clearly connected. Maybe Scratch got out because Wake did. Or vice versa. Don't wake up the dreamer if your life is a dream. Wake said the cult has the clicker. How does he know? The writer is the reader. The next chapter. The next chapter. The next chapter. Keep the pages safe, the dark shining of the words. Wake is hiding pages. That's how he knows the cult has the clicker. To the case board. No, whoops, that's not what I meant to do. do, 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 do we do, just gave do. us a lot of information. But this clicker seems like a good place to start. If we find that, then we find the cult. The pages we've been finding are from a horror story called Return, written by Alan Wake. And the contents of this book are coming true. Why couldn't it have been a romance? Hmm. That's about all we can find out there for now. Keep trying. <sighs> I'm gonna if you don't. I feel like I tried these, but oh, there we go. It wouldn't show it to me if I didn't have a place to put it. That's not right. 
Not bad. Okay, Mr. Wake. I know you have more pages of the manuscript on you. You don't understand how vital these pages are. They're the only way I can know what's coming. You're not the only one trying to solve this. This is our job. Okay. Here. Now, this is all I have. Be careful with them. Inside the trailer, at the outskirts of Watery, Saga had seen Wake's fabled clicker for the first time, in the hands of the cult of the tree. A cultist stared at her. She drew her weapon. Standing inside the trailer, at the outskirts of Watery, Saga had seen Wake's fabled clicker for the first time, in the hands of the cult of the tree. Her mind reeled from what the horror story was now claiming about her, her life, her past. She didn't accept it. She stepped out of the trailer. She needed air, but she wasn't alone. A cultist stared at her from behind a deer mask. She drew her weapon, shouted, ran after him. Hmm. The cult of the tree has the clicker Wake told me about. I'm They're going part there. Of all this. It's all on the page. The clicker, the cult. Okay, I'll head to Watery and find this trailer. Casey, you stay here and keep an eye on Mr. Wake. Got it. No, you need me there. No dice, pal. This is an FBI investigation, and I don't see a badge on that flannel. You wrote these pages in the dark place. So why are we finding them here? I think I wrote them. I remember writing an endless amount of pages. When this happened before, the, the pages were being sent from the dark place to help me. Maybe the same thing is happening here. That's all for now, Mr. Wake. Thank you for your cooperation. Oh, you're ten, you're Hello, and welcome to Coffee World, voted Washington's best coffee themed amusement park. All of our attractions are family friendly and available to children of all ages, just like our coffee. So, Take a sip of our Oh Dear Diner organic coffee and let the adventure begin! <sighs> Hold on for dear life on the Espresso Express! Oh! Soak in some local history at the Huatari Well, where two serial killers once hid the disemboweled bodies of their murder victims. Uh, it's not a haunted. No. <laughs> Come join Mocha Moose and the goats at our amusement park petting zoo. Just don't share your coffee with the goats. <laughs> Seriously, stop feeding our goats coffee. Seriously. It's not amusing. Take in amazing views from the slow road through Ferris Wheel. I can almost see the watery lighthouse trailer park. This is so much fun! And 
finish off at our beautiful gift shop where seniors and children under 10 receive a 9% discount on keychains and propane tanks. Welcome to Coffee World. We guarantee you'll jaw a great time. Something oh, platinum trophy! TV in my room. Yay! It keeps going on by itself. <clears throat> it's keeping me awake all night. Yes, sir. I'm terribly sorry for that. We called a professional electrician. In the meat. Hello. I can't force it open. Strange man. Oh, left letters everywhere. Ed hadn't been the same since his latest show had closed. This wasn't the first time one of his productions had shuttered early. Scathing social commentary in a one act play wasn't exactly filling seats. When Tammy told him she was taking a research trip to Bright Falls, he decided to tag along. Ed told her he wanted to find inspiration. Really, he just wanted a break from the city. But it was true that he certainly needed to find something. A voice, a direction, an idea, something authentic to himself. Ed knew he couldn't keep using Tammy's money to fund his playwriting. After the argument with Tammy, Ed stormed out of the diner and drove their rental car back to Cauldron Lake to prove a point. Now standing in the dark woods, the sun hidden by the trees, Ed wished he could remember what that point was. Something about masculinity. He cursed at himself and turned to go. Suddenly, he was blinded by a light in his face. Voices shouted and hands pushed him to the ground. Ed struggled in vain. Huh. Sorry, Ed. Sucks to be Ed. Tammy tapped her pen on her notebook. Alan Wake had ridden this same ferry into town when he arrived. This was his entry into Bright Falls. His first steps across the threshold. She wrote that down. She always found it helpful to walk in the victim's shoes, do what they did, see what they saw. It added great color to the book. Tammy felt raindrops on her face. God, again? She pulled up her hood. The rain just kept coming. She missed New York. So far, this hadn't been the simple research trip she pictured. First the incident at the lake, then the fight with Ed. It's not surprising tempers got hot. They were both on edge after what had happened. Tammy had said some things, things she regretted. She looked out over the harbor. A chill passed through her. She hoped Ed wouldn't do anything stupid. Hmm. Doesn't seem good. Well, I'm going to take a break here and get some food. So, peace out. I'm going to stop the video because we're at 55 minutes. Peace.